Good day, guys. My name is Baba Tunde Uluatusi. Today, we'll be talking about refinement. And you can see from this definition, let P be a partition on AB, of AB on R. A refinement of P is a set P1 containing P, that is, P is a subset of P1. Now, let me explain this graphically. They have this kind of graph now. We have this rough shape, for example. You now, here is A equals to X naught, this starting point here. Now, if you slice it, you slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it. Slice it. Slice it. Now, you are going to have X1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 x9 x10 for example now this is a partition let's give this partition the whole of this partition it should be p1 now we are now having another shape under look at for example they have this shape here whereby we now slice now look at where I'm slicing it. I make sure it is in between this point, like the midpoint. Now look at having this. So you can see, let's give this partition P now. You can see that this partition is under partition P1. So that's what we call refinement of P. So the refinement of P is what? The partition P1. So P is contained in what? In P1. Hope you grab it. So that's the definition of refinement. Now, Raymond sum. Raymond sum. Suppose f is a function acting on this interval and it maps to r. That is, any answer we pick, that is, any value of x we pick that is in this range, we are going to input it into this function. So, and the function will map to a Free number it's going to have his image on a free number now let mi be supremum of now supremum we act on this interval the supremum here that's what we, we are going to look for the f of the supremum here now why mi is the infimum infimum of this interval that's what we are going to look for the function of that infimum oh big graph so don't worry, we are going to do example. So the upper Riemann sum of f on a b is giving us this is the expression for upper Riemann sum summation, i ranging from one to n, show telling you that it is what in a bounded interval. Are you with me? Telling you that the interval is a what a closed one because it is what finite. Now having the m the way we define the m supremum of the interval the function of the supremum of the interval now you can see this data xi we tally when i is equals to one you put one here you are going to have zero one so it will be between x naught and x one so we are going to look for data xi x one so whatever we get you know this, I can write this expression, this expression to be m1 data x1 plus m2 capital M, m2 data x2 plus dot 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 plus up to data up to m n data x n. Hope you graph m n data x n. Now, same thing goes to lower. But lower is the infimum, supreme, uh, the upper we take the supremum, lower Riemann sum we take the infimum. So, using the same condition, you pick the infimum of the boundary, infimum of the boundary. So, from there, that's what we are going to input as our x for the function, then we look for whatever we are asked to look for. So, m1 delta x1 plus m2 delta x2 plus m3 delta x3 like that up to small m and delta xn 
Hope you got it. So we are going to solve one example on 